Hi my awesome guys. How have you been? Hope you all are great. Well, in our daily life, we use the sentence rights. This is my right or that's my right, isn't it? Actually, what is this right? As an Indian citizen, the constitution itself guarantees certain rights. These rights are called as fundamental rights. We have six fundamental rights. Right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational right and right to constitutional remedies. You all know very well about this right. Then what about duty? So most of the people tend to ignore their duties and bother only their rights. So we have 11 fundamental duties. Did you feel harder to learn these fundamental duties? No problem. I will help you. With only three sentences, we will learn the 11 fundamental duties. So guys, are you ready? The sentences are, Constitution gives freedom to be sovereign and serve the nation. We need to live as brotherhoodness to protect our culture and environment. Scientific temper is necessary among public. For this excellence, all children should go to school. So, okay my children, let's discuss how these sentences are connected with our fundamental duty. So, the first sentence, Constitution gives freedom to be sovereign and serve the nation. Yes, the first word, Constitution, this is your first duty to abide the Constitution and respect national flag and national anthem. Second word, freedom. To cherish and follow the noble ideals of freedom struggle. Third word, sovereignty. To uphold and protect the sovereignty, integrity and unity of the nation. The fourth word, to serve the nation. Yes, that is the fourth duty. To defend the country and render the national service when the nation require to do so. Yes, moving on to the second sentence. We need to live as brotherhoodness to protect our culture and environment. Yes, the fifth duty is to promote harmony and common brotherhoodness. The sixth one to preserve the composite culture and seventh one to preserve our environment. So moving on to the last sentence, scientific temper is necessary among the public. For this excellence, all children should go to school. Yes, that is the eighth fundamental duty to develop scientific temper. And ninth one, safeguard public property. And the tenth one is strive for excellence. And the eleventh and the last fundamental duty. And this is the duty for the parents and guardians should send your children between the age of 6 to 14 to the school. So my dear children, if you are doing your duties perfectly, the others can enjoy their right. Always remember the court of Mahatma Gandhi. Begin with your duties. The rights will follow you as the spring follows the winter. So, if you wanted such an amazing videos, please tune with us. This is Sumi Majid from Team Omnibus. We're learning blues.